Today marks one month since Russia invaded Ukraine and devastating images from the war zone continue. Last time we showed you what the Ukrainian city of Mariupol looked like from the air. Now we are seeing it from the ground and it is completely leveled. It's a desperate dash for freedom past the wreckage of Mariupol. The driver swerves around burned out cars and bombed out buildings as he guns his engine before Russian soldiers can take aim and open fire. The once thriving city the size of Minneapolis is now a vast wasteland. The Ukrainians are fighting hard to hold on to every block. This drone video released by Ukraine's defense forces shows Russian military vehicles getting blown to bits as soldiers run for cover. Another video shows a direct hit on a Russian tank. And this strike is being hailed as a major victory for Ukraine. A Russian supply ship docked at the port exploded in flames. Just three days ago, Russian state TV showed the ship unloading tanks. The report gave the Ukrainians valuable intel on the ship's precise location, and now they've taken it out. President Biden is in Brussels today for an emergency NATO summit. NATO has never, never been more united than it is today. Putin is getting exactly the opposite what he intended to have as a consequence of going into Ukraine. In Russia, heads are rolling. Putin's defense minister has reportedly vanished from sight as the dictator lashes out in fury over the botched invasion. There is speculation that this social media photo of the defense minister's daughter may have led to his downfall. She's dressed in the color of the Ukrainian flag. Air raid sirens are ever present in Ukraine these days. This musician is playing his piano as loud as he can to drown out the nerve-wracking sound.